Hello everyone. So, I've been playing around with this concept uh, for a animated series based off of The Flash recently. Just a little idea I've had, and I thought I would talk about it uh, just for fun, and to maybe see what you guys think about it. Just have a discussion about it, see if this is something that maybe uh, other people would want. Basically, uh, what it would be about is just about Wally West uh, taking up the mantle of The Flash. And I'll have it be about Wally because most everything Flash related focuses on Barry. And there's never really been a proper story uh, about Wally taking up the mantle of the Flash. You know, we had in Justice League, the animated series, Wally was the Flash. But there's never been the story of showing him go from Kid Flash to, you know, taking up the mantle. So I would have this series revolve around that. So for the first episode... I would start off with a, you know, a, a flashback to uh, whenever Barry was training Wally back in the early days. And I would have these uh, little moments at different points throughout the series uh, just to kind of establish the relationship those two had and to just, you know, anytime maybe it would be an event that was relevant to what's going on in the episode. And then after that sequence, we'll jump to present day where we're dealing with the aftermath of Barry having sacrificed himself. So then we set up that all the other DC heroes are pretty much established at this point. You know, we got the Justice League, we got the Teen Titans, and they'll pop up from time to time. Not every single episode having a guest hero in it, but like every now and then, maybe we'll get like, maybe we'll have an episode devoted to like a Superman and Flash race, uh, you know. Like they always did the comics, like the one episode of Superman the Animated Series, uh, something similar to that. And in the first episode, uh, we'll s set up that Wally has been a member of the Teen Titans for a long time, and he devoted a lot of time to that team, and now that Barry's gone, uh, he's decided to resign and devote his responsibilities entirely to Central City, which has gone up with crime now. Now... Wally in the comics, when he took over as the Flash, primarily operated out of Keystone City, the twin city to Central. That will come later, but for right now, he's just going to focus in Central City. And in the first episode, I would have it to where uh, he just keeps the Kid Flash costume. He doesn't put on the actual Flash suit till the end. Just the, the first episode, he's still in the Kid Flash suit. And it deals with him... Uh, not wanting to replace Barry. He just he just doesn't want to put that suit on. He doesn't feel it's right. And another little thing is, and this will go on for a while in the series, uh, we'll deal with Wally. Something's wrong with his speed. Like, he can't... He, it'll be established that he used to be able to match Barry's speed, but now he can just barely go past the speed of sound. And that was a concept from the early stories... Uh, with him taking over as the Flash, where he didn't want to surpass Barry, because in his mind that meant that he would have actually replaced him, so he had a mental block that kept him from going as fast as he should have been able to. And I'm thinking that won't be resolved till season two. So at the end of the first episode, that's where Wally puts on the Flash suit, because he gets a talk from his aunt Iris, who tells him that that's what Barry would have wanted. Um, Iris, if you know, in the comics, wasn't around early on when Wally uh, first took up the mantle. That's a long story. Um, but basically, uh, for this, she is still there. So then she gives him a variation of Barry's suit, which is really uh, what Wally's iconic uh, costume used to be. You know, the design he had in the Justice League animated series, that was pretty much Wally's design. Where he's got, like, the lightning bolt belt uh, kind of curved a certain way, and he's got the white eyes, and it's a certain shade of red. So it's a, it's a, it was a little bit of darker shade of red than what Barry wore. Uh, so yeah, it's basically that suit. Now, the first season, I wouldn't have, like, a big ongoing story arc. I think I would just deal with him going up against the rogues. You know, Captain Cold, Captain Boomerang, the Trickster, Mirror Master, all of them. I wouldn't really have a speedster villain uh, just yet. And another character I would throw in there actually would be uh, one from the Teen Titans animated series. Uh, it's not in continuity with that show. This is its own thing. But, like, reusing this idea, which would be Jinx. 
Now, Jinx was in the comics, but the version of her that was in the show is pretty different. So I would bring back that take on her, and I would pretty much have her be his Catwoman. Like, just do the whole thing of her being, you know, a villain, and he can see the good in her, and he's trying to, you know, bring her over to the good side, uh, like how it was in that episode of Teen Titans he showed up in, uh, and then have her eventually turn good and the two of them hook up. I just really like that story in uh, Teen Titans, and I thought it was just a interesting concept, so I'd like to see it revisited. Now, going into Season 2, that's where I would have a story arc, but I, I wouldn't really introduce it till about maybe midway through. I'd have the first half of the second season be pretty much like the first season, but then midway through is when I would bring in uh, the reverse Flash, and it would be from that storyline where Wally broke past his mental block. Basically, it was a story called The Return of Barry Allen, where it's super convoluted. Uh, the whole thing with Reverse Flash is really complicated, and if you don't read Flash comics, uh, it's going to take me a while to explain all of it. Basically, let's put it this way. Eobard Thawne, the Reverse Flash, uh, made himself look like Barry Allen, and then went completely insane and believed that he was Barry, uh, went around pretending to be Barry for a while, everyone thought he was back. Then it was like, no, nah, it's, it's the Reverse Flash, and then uh, we get this great big fight between... Uh, him and Wally, where Wally's finally able to break past his limits out of fear of uh, Thawne replacing Barry's memory. So I would just straight up adapt that storyline and have the fight between uh, the two of them be the big season finale. And also another little thing that I uh, should have mentioned, I forgot about, uh, Jay Garrick will also be in this series, but he'll be uh, you know, retired, but he'll occasionally put his costume on uh, to come help. He'll pretty much just be a wise old mentor. So that's pretty much all I've got for now. Uh, just, like I said, it was something that I was toying around with, and I kind of felt like talking about it, and I want to see what other people uh, think about this concept. Do you think this would make for a good show? Uh, I'll probably come back to this later, just do a follow-up on it, and maybe do some more uh, concepts for superhero shows. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this. You have a good day, and I'll see you next time.